The car wasn't a threat, nor was the teen who died. Those words today from witnesses who testified in the murder trial of a former Bulk Springs police officer. Our Steve Pickett live inside the Crowley Courts building in Dallas. And Steve, Roy Oliver's lawyers have said that he was protecting another officer. Uh, that has been their contention all along, but these teenagers who are testifying, a line of them testifying today, those who are outside that party who actually viewed this shooting, witnessed it, and also those who were inside the car with Jordan Edwards on that April night, they also testifying they saw no reason for this officer to shoot. I go to school with him. A list of teenagers. When the car started going forward, like, that's when I could stop the different cars, and, and then that's when, like, I heard the shots, like, after that. Boys who were in the car fired on by Roy Oliver, and those who say they saw the former officer fire the shots that killed Jordan Edwards. We're listening to the officer yell, stop the car, stop the car. Jeremy Seaton testified he was among the crowd of teenagers seen on this body cam video. Leaving that house party in April of 2017, where the death of Edwards occurred. Seaton and best friend Eric Knight telling the jury they watched Oliver and officer Tyler Gross move toward a car after someone fired shots outside that shutdown party. Seaton and Knight said they knew Jordan and others in the car were not involved in any shooting. Did you see anything out there that night that would have justified defendant Roy Oliver firing five shots at that car? No. And I see the other officer like fire into the car. I, I couldn't, I, could, I wouldn't, at that moment, I wouldn't have been able to tell you how many shots were fired. Did you see anything uh, that justified any shooting into that car? In my opinion, no, sir. Uh, in total today, six teenagers attending that uh, party, that house party back in April of 2017, taking the stand today. Another gentleman who lived in the area also testifying today. This jury, uh, seven women, five men who are listening to this testimony, invariably will hear the version of events from Roy Oliver's attorneys, their witnesses, their version of events. Is that, it is not clear at this point if Oliver himself will take the stand in his own defense. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Steve,